Hi everyone, Ben from Lights and Gear and a little bit of a departure today from flashlights. It's the new X-Star battery charger, which I'm going to talk about, the VX4 Visible Mixer, as they call it. And this is the subject of today's video. I do like X-Star chargers. If you've seen any of my other videos, I have uh, reviewed a couple of their um, larger units before. And this one is, um, again, follows along the lines of their quality brands, which um, is certainly worthy of if you are in need of a battery charger. And it uh, does what you would expect most chargers to do, it being a smart charger and all. So, of course, it will let you know if your batteries are good enough to charge in the first place. And on the back of the box, it pretty much gives you all the types of batteries that it will handle. I have a small representation right here on the desk in front of me. Um, and pretty much any type of rechargeable battery you have, it will be able to handle. Uh, X-Star makes 1.5 volt lithium batteries, of which I do not have any. Um, I have 1.2 and IMH, and I have uh, 14550 batteries, which are uh, 3.6 volt, but I don't have any 1.5 volt uh, lithium ion. But uh, XSTAR happens to make those, and it will obviously charge those as well, since, uh, well, they are their own brand, but it will charge those and a whole lot of other types as well. So let's talk about what's inside the Visible Mixer VX4 box. Of course, the star of the show is the charger, and uh, it's not a small unit, as you can imagine, several inches wide, several inches tall, and it has a nice big bright display. Next you get the manual, and that is pretty self-explanatory many different languages, but if English is your mother tongue, then you'll find this page here, which gives you all the different diagrams of what happens when you put different size batteries in the slots, and basically what to expect, and lots of additional notes down here on uh, some of the little variances that you'll find when working with different size batteries. There's information here on the 1.5 lithium ion, the AA size, which, uh, which might be useful to you. So, and in addition to the manual, you will have an AC power adapter with the USB connector on the, on the back. And uh, I happen to be using, um, well, they do give you, obviously, the USB cable to charge it with. I have it here right now attached to the back of the unit. And you'll also have this heavy-duty bag with a, um, with a, a pull string at the top if you need to take the charger with you on the go. Visually, the charger features, features three buttons. This one says CV on it right here, and right here is a mode button, and on the opposite side is a toggle switch between milliwatt hours and milliamp hours. So the charger has two main functions. Right now you can see CHG up here, obviously for charge. To change the functions back and forth, you press and hold the mode switch, and that will change from charge to grade. Now at the moment it's not changing, there it goes. So you can do either a charge or a grade, and the grade will give you the ability to check the capacity of a battery. Once it does a charge and discharge cycle, at the end it will display what the actual capacity of the battery is. So you can see if it's less than what is advertised on the battery itself. So that's your grade. So those are the two functions it does, grade and charge. And each time you put a battery in, obviously it will show you the composition of the battery, whether it be 3.6 or 1.5 or NIMH and so forth. I'll start by putting a battery in the first slot. I have a 21700 here, which of course is a larger size battery. 
and you'll see that pretty much any size battery will fit in these slots and uh, you can also put multiple large sizes close together such as a couple of 21700s and even this um, 26650 will all go nicely next to each other. So anyway, let me start with this. And immediately when you go in, it will begin to evaluate the battery and uh, automatically, of course, show you what the current voltage is of that battery. And then it will show you what amperage it's starting to put into the battery. It's, um, and you can set, of course, the charging current, if you wish, by pressing the CV button. That will start to show you 3,000 or 2,000 or 1,000 or 500 or 250. So those are your selections as to how much power, how much amps you want to put into the battery. Now if I was to change the current down to 2,000, now of course for every battery I put in here it will start to lower in the amount of uh, amperage that the batteries are getting with each inserted battery it will give you less and less amperage but obviously still enough to charge in a reasonably decent amount of time so of course as you can imagine as soon as the battery is finished it'll say full in the display it'll show you the amount of um, uh, amps that it put in the battery and um, and you'll also get, of course, the, uh, the completed voltage at the same time, naturally. Now, if I put a different size battery in there, you'll get basically this one here is a 14500. Double A size lithium. And again, here we go, showing that this is a lithium ion. This voltage is at 3.27 and it will start applying a current to the battery. It's uh, obviously not applying that much of a current since it's a smaller battery. It's only getting 250 at the moment. Now, I know most chargers, and this one included, when you do have the ability to actually set the amount of current, sometimes, in certain circumstances, you can change the current. I think it's much easier to put the current down rather than change the current up because the charger does know the current that that particular battery needs to charge safely. So if I was to try to raise the current on this battery, for instance, right now, it probably wouldn't do anything. I could put it up, but it probably wouldn't make a difference. Now, of course, if I was to change this to the grade, which I can do as well, then it would give me a different kind of status. It still shows that it's charging, and it now gives me the voltage, and it does basically the same thing, but of course when it reaches the top, it'll start going down again and discharging. But you can change between charge and grade, if you so desire. I'll put it back to charge. And as far as the other size batteries are concerned, as I say, you can put virtually any size in you wish. Here is a small but stubby one, um, 18350. This is, odd. This is, two, uh, this is a 3.7 lithium ion. And here again, this one's practically full at 4.20 4 volts, so it's almost full. And it's now charging at 200 mA. And the battery next to it, the 14550, it's going at uh, 250. And the larger 21700 on the side is now going at just about 1,000. Last but not least, I could put another battery in the last slot. I have an NIMH here at 1.2 volts, so we can uh, plop that one in. And again, it'll start to analyze the battery. And notice that it's an NIMH, not a lithium ion. This is at 1.34, 
and it'll get a much lower charge at one point, or rather not one point, it'll get a much lower charge at 150. Now in the meantime, this little guy has finished, since he was almost full anyway. So there's your full symbol on the 18350, and it finished at 414. Obviously there's a 0 MA going into it at the moment. Now some chargers will let you select one slot so you can just look at the information in that one slot. Perhaps slightly unfortunate with the VX4 it does not allow you to select a particular slot so anything that I press will affect all the batteries. If I press the mode switch that will change slightly. The mode switch will then show me that the battery that is full had only three MAH placed in it during that brief time that it was charging and it will show me the amount of amp hours that are going into all the batteries and that's by pressing the mode switch once if I pressed and hold the mode switch that's what changes it from charge to grade I'll remove the 18350 and just leave the others here to do what they were doing a couple of moments ago. I want to show you a picture that I took which displays all four bays being used at once with the same kind of battery. So in the picture here we have four 18650s. All the batteries are being graded so the grade is already discharging two of the batteries and still charging two of the batteries. So you can see that in the picture here that um, slot two and four are in the discharge mode. To demonstrate the different sizes of the slots and the batteries I have here the 26650 which I showed you a couple of minutes ago. I can uh, Put that one in the, in the third slot here since we have an empty space for a moment. Put that one in the third slot and that should also give us a, a reading here in a second. There we go. This is a flat top so it has to be placed in there a certain way for it to start reading the battery. But again, you've got the readings right here going in that one, 3.88 volts and it's uh, charging this one at a pretty good clip actually. It's charging this one at the same rate it is as battery number one. So almost a thousand MA going into this 26650. Depending on the kind of batteries you have around your house, sometimes you might find some which you're not sure whether they'll actually charge or not. I have this battery here that I've had for a number of years and it's a 14500 an IMR and I used to use it quite regularly. I hadn't used it in quite a while and I went to see if the X-Star would handle this battery and uh, rather surprisingly actually it doesn't. Um, there does seem to be something uniquely wrong with the cell. I can pull out this um, NIMH here just to demonstrate this particular one here. I'll put that in the final slot, replacing the other one, and it doesn't even recognize this battery at all. I've uh, tried putting it in a couple of different ways just to see if it was a contact issue, but it just doesn't register at all. This might happen on occasion, so just know that that is a possibility. If there's another unique problem with a particular battery and you put it in the unit, it might display error, ERR, to uh, indicate that it simply is unchargeable. Nothing wrong with the unit, it is the battery, and the charger knows if a battery is uniquely dead, although it is supposed to be able to revive dead batteries, but not all conditions can sometimes be met, you know. Last but not least, as I wrap up this review, I'm going to show you the grading feature. I have a 700 mAh battery here of the um, 16340 size. So just one of these little guys. I'll put that in. And as we uh, 
analyze the little fella it will be at 3.52 volts and with this kind of a battery under the oh, actually let me put it under grade there we go so now under the grade mode it will start charging this battery again if I press the mode switch at this point it'll tell me that it is charging at 250 MA we will let this guy go through the paces here and see what happens when the battery is completely done through completely done with the charging and discharging cycle I should also point out that of course while it is charging you'll see the bars going from bottom to top and you'll always know when it's in the discharge cycle when of course for one thing it does not show charge right here but you'll also see the little bars going in the downward cycle so they will go uh, from top to bottom instead of bottom to top all right now this concludes the testing of the battery that I have been testing for a little bit it does take uh, a while for it to run through the sequence but as you can see it is finished it's at uh, 4.15 and the capacity of the battery is 675 so that's not too bad because on the battery it says it's um, 700 mAh so it's not that far off from its uh, actual uh, or its stated capacity I should say the real capacity is not that far off from the stated capacity and that's your uh, great feature and uh, with that that is pretty much the finished review here of the X star X uh, rather VX4 visible mixer and if you want to pick one up you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below Hope you do like this video and subscribe when others come down the pipeline. But uh, that's it for today with the X-Star. I think it's a decent charger. It will certainly do every battery you can probably or possibly have in your house or will ever get that needs charging. And again, if you want to um, pick one up, use the link in the description and ask questions and make comments if you wish on this video. All right, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time, and we'll talk to you soon from Lights and Gear. Bye-bye.